We are your fire service. Over the last few decades, the fire service has changed. Back in the 1980s, firefighters attended a lot of fires and other incidents. We did an excellent job of dealing with those fires and rescuing people. As we worked through the 90s, we were very successful in getting people to fit smoke alarms in their homes. As a result of this, many fires were detected faster, meaning property damage and loss of life were reduced. We didn't stop there. In the new millennium, we started visiting people's houses, not to just promote smoke alarm ownership, but to educate people on how they could prevent fires occurring. And we went to lots of homes and met lots of people. By 2010, we came to understand that older people were more vulnerable than others. So we focused our attention on these people. As we approached 2015, we identified a clear relationship between our risk groups and those prone to slips, trips, falls and ill health. So what's all this leading to? The answer is... Safe and Well. Safe and Well aims to improve the health, well-being and safety of the people in our community. From the usual fire safety advice to health interventions such as falling hazards or providing safety equipment. The data we collect allows us to better target at-risk people and improve what we do nationally. But why are firefighters expected to start doing this? Firefighters are trusted and respected in communities and have access to vulnerable people that other agencies just don't have. This unique access allows us to address problems directly and do more of the all-important prevention that we know works so well. And it doesn't stop there. A strong safe and well strategy helps our colleagues and partner agencies, reduces workloads on health services, saves public money and above all keeps people safe in their homes and communities. So keep an eye out for more updates from us over the coming months as we continue to keep everyone safe and well. Thanks for watching. Thank you.